She then tells me about a doctor, Dr. Khan at New Hope Fertility. Thanks for clicking on Simply Tanika. I am Tanika. If you are new here, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. Let's hang out a while. If you are returning, welcome back. What's up, fertility fam? We gotta do what? Let's get those babies, ladies. just a routine we didn't actually do pap smear we just did a our, um switch to my ovaries and did a breast exam as we get older we're more likely to have ovarian cancer or breast cancer and not cervical cancer so um pap smears every other year now at my age hey fam all right it's the end of the day it's the end of the night, it's dark outside. I went to restorative yoga, it was amazing. And there's one thing that my yoga teacher said, Barry, she was, um, she talks to us a little bit as we do. It's restorative yoga, so you stay in a pose for like 30 minutes. Um, so our second and final pose, she was saying, um, she had read something, I wish I knew where it was, but there was a person who had lost his sight, and so he took up, or who was losing his sight, he took up bird watching, and he talked about using binoculars, and how when you use a binocular, you are zoned in on one thing, and you lose your periphery, kind of like if you ride horses, you know, like when the horses have on blinders, they can't see out, the, you know, they only can see here. Um, in that same way, binoculars only allow you to see what's in the circle and you lose this. And the writer was saying how it becomes like tunnel vision because you only see what's at the end of the tunnel. You lose all your periphery. Long story short, or not so short. It made me think of my journey and everything else that's going on and had I lost sight of other things and I'm just so focused on that end result. And it was kind of like a nice punctuation mark for what I have been feeling for the day about just enjoying my life and figuring out what happens next as it happens, making plans, but not being laser focused on what the outcome is. I haven't been recording as much. I've missed you guys, but I appreciate that you know that I am taking care of myself and just reconnecting mind, body, and soul and getting in a place um, for my next steps. And a lot of my thoughts have been about just enjoying my life, being grateful for what I have, being humble for the things that I don't have, and being humble about the experiences that I'm allowed to have, and just really taking it all in and appreciating it. I think gratitude is my attitude and so that was just like a nice reminder having that at restorative yoga anyway that's kind of where i am that's kind of the mental space and energy that i'm in i also wanted to tell you about what happened with dr mamera so we talked a little bit she did my exam i told you earlier as we age something's going on the concern for cancer is more ovarian and breast cancer as we age and not cervical so i did not have a pap smear but i had an exam she did my ovary so we talked you know you have to tell your gynecologist like have you been pregnant have you so i told her about the ivf and she had known because she was the one who was taking care of me when i had the miscarriage in 2017 so she knew you know basically what was going on but i caught her up on the ivf that i had in november pregnant in december miscarriage in January and she was like oh you're going to do it again I told her I met with the doctor and she's like you're gonna do donor eggs right I was like no and she's so cute she just makes a little face like mm, that's gonna be hard at your age that's 
that's a low chance. And I said, I know, I met with the doctor on Monday and it, he gives me 6% chance. He didn't give me zero, so I'm going to go forward. She then tells me about a doctor, Dr. Khan at New Hope Fertility, which Nikki went there to New Hope. She didn't see Dr. Khan, I sent her a text. But she tells me about this doctor with this mitochondrial transfer procedure, which I had read about before. It's since been banned in the US. So you have to go to Mexico to get it done. But Dr. Khan is the one who does it. He has a New Hope Fertility Center in Mexico City. Anyway, I won't go into too much. Dr. Khan is also the one who treated Dr. Halem, who if you've been here a while, you know I'm always ranting about my dermatologist who at 45 had her eggs retrieved. She now has three kids. She just had her third one at the age of 47 and she she transferred, wait for it, abnormal embryos. He was the one who did that. This was the doctor, which it was very controversial at the time. All three children that she's had are normal. They were mosaic, to be fair. So they're, it's a whole other conversation, but abnormal nonetheless. I feel like that's kind of a recurring theme. Like Dr. Halem had the IVF past 44 because that seems to be like the cutoff for everyone had abnormal embryos you know all of these things so i was like i want to meet with this man so i went online i set up or i requested an appointment i did i don't have a confirmation of it yet i ended up canceling the um chr center for human reproductive uh or reproduction appointment that i talked with you guys about earlier i'm going to move forward with share fertility just to be clear because that's covered by my insurance but i do want to talk to dr khan about what he has to offer at new hope fertility specifically about the mitochondria transfer which was dubbed here if you want to google it in the u.s it was dubbed as three parent babies because what they are doing is they're taking the mitochondria which we talk about a lot in ubiquinol CoQ10 conversations, right? As we age, our natural ubiquinol or CoQ10 declines. And so we were talking about supplementing it because that helps with the, it helps us energize our eggs by giving it more energy for the mitochondria. So we talk about that a lot. They take that from a younger woman, a donor. They put it in the mother's egg. They pop out one, pop in the other. Mother's egg is there. So it's still the mother's DNA. Pop in the donor's mitochondria inject it with sperm and effectively that child has now three parents but the person who births it is biologically related to it so it's very controversial he did it once he created the child here in the u.s the embryo and then transplanted it in mexico after that the fda was all over him and said never again so it's all done in mexico now don't know if i'm there yet but he is attributed to having helped the oldest woman on record, which was 48, giving birth to her own child, to her own biological child. Normally at that age, it's a donor egg. So I was like, why not? Why not? So it's interesting that my doctor, my um, OBGYN was like, you know, you need a donor egg. And then when I was like, well, they gave me a 6% chance, I'm gonna go for it. And if I do egg banking and PGS, the pregenetic screening, that increases my chance of 76%. Why not? She was willing to tell me about the mitochondria transfer and I knew what she was talking about. I didn't know they were doing it in Mexico. I thought you only could do it in the UK. So I was all over that. Anyway, so I'm gonna make the appointment, waiting for them to respond back. I'm gonna meet with this doctor, see what's going on, but I'm even more excited now. I feel like all the research that I've done is kind of paying off and there's a crossroads. There seems to be a recurring thing with um, Dr. Halem, Dr. Monica Halem, because again, I'm learning about her from someone else. There was, when I was taking that counseling class, it popped up that at her age, she had done the IVF, had had nine miscarriages, then went on to transplant abnormal embryos became pregnant once, twice, and then the third time. I'm going to her office next week, I'm gonna take you guys. But um, she just had the third baby last year. So there's something there. I'm taking that as a sign, I take them as they come. Nothing happens by coincidence. So it just feels good, like all of the being at peace, opening up my vision, things are coming in. I think I'm in the right place. I'm in the right place in all senses, literally figuratively, spiritually. So yeah. All right, fam. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Mwah. Baby dust to you all.